Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in my previous video on the targeting pod for the Hornet, we talked a lot about some of the new functions, but one thing I did leave out was discussion of the offset mode for the targeting pod, uh, mainly because we have a little gremlin in there on the build I was using, but that has since been resolved. So I wanted to uh, take this time to talk about it. But before we do so, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the basic controls. So we'll go escape, adjust controls, we see that we have the F-18C SIM selected. Let's go to the category of HOTAS. And some of the basic ones we're going to be using uh, come down to the sensor control switch or the SCS, aft, depressed, forward, left, and right. Definitely be using that. The uh, throttle designator control or the TDC, in particular the depress button. And those are the big ones we're going to be using for today. So let's come back. So we can see in the targeting pod, we are um, in snow plowed mode, moving along. Let's go ahead and go SCS to the right because the display is on the right to assign the TDC to it. And we see we have the diamond up there. And let's go ahead and slew the pod to our target area where, where we have a couple uh, evil C-130s waiting for us. So we'll go down to the uh, HSI, we'll go waypoint, waypoint one, waypoint designate. And now we have the uh, general location of the targets. So we'll go field of view in. Yeah, let's go zoom in a little bit as well. And here we see these evil C-130s. And as we discussed before, uh, right now we're in a stabilized snowplow mode. We can go ahead and slew it around. And then once we designate, say on this guy, by depressing the TDC, we have a segmented uh, diamond. And also as we discussed before, if we go now right on the sensor control switch, we'll go to an area track. And if we do it again, we go into a point track. Let's come back out. Now we're to a stabilized track again. So here in area track, again, we're in a, uh, a non-slew mode indicated by the solid diamond. So the question is, well, let's say I want to change my target to a different one. Uh, and I really don't want to go all the way back out to snow plot mode. Well, here's what you do. You go ahead and depress on the TDC switch and slew away, and we have this little cross now indicating the offset location. So let's put it on this bad boy up here, and we'll depress the TDC again, and this now changes the location of that diamond to that target. So this is a handy way to bring your eyes to that target or set up a laser guided bomb attack. If we go sensor control switch right to again, we'll go back to the original target, and also it'll go into a point track mode. Now, when we're point track mode, we can do something a step further. Again, let's go ahead and do an offset uh, aim point. So depress on the TDC, move it away, move it to this target, depress on the TDC to designate it, and now go right on the sensor control switch, and it moves the targeting pod now to this location. Pretty handy. And again, this way you don't have to be fiddling uh, back to snowplow mode. And if we go SCS right again, it goes into an area track, point, and just regular designation. So I hope this clears up a little bit about having to use the offset. And it can be, again, a really handy function when you're uh, switching targets within a designated area for the targeting pod. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.